In Module 1, I will show you where to find num Excel's functions and forms within Microsoft Excel. For Microsoft Excel 2007 or 2010 users, locate the num Excel tab in Excel's ribbon user interface. For Excel 2003 users, find the corresponding program shortcuts under the num Excel menu and on the num Excel toolbar. Click on the num Excel tab to access the program shortcuts. The leftmost shortcut launches NumExcel's descriptive statistics form, allowing you to quickly compute summary statistics, such as, sample average, standard deviation, or, excess keratosis. Furthermore, you can perform number of advanced statistical tests like normality test, and white noise test. For more information on descriptive statistics, see Module 2. For statistical testing, See Module 3. Click Cancel to close the window. The next shortcut to the right, launches NumExcel's Correlogram form. This form calculates and plots, autocorrelation, partial autocorrelation functions, along with their confidence intervals. For more information on Correlogram analysis, see Module 4. Click Cancel to close the window. The next shortcut to the right launches NumExcel's ARMA model form. This form can help you build an ARMA type model, by specifying the model's orders P and Q. This form can optionally initialize the model's parameters, output the model's goodness of fit functions, such as, log likelihood function, and the AI, C, and examines the model's underlying assumptions using the residuals diagnosis analysis. For more information on ARMA modeling, see Module 5. Click Cancel to close the window. The next shortcut to the right launches NumExcel's airline model form. This form assists you to build an airline type of model, and requires only one input, the seasonality length. As in the ARMA model form, the user can output the goodness of fit functions as well as, examine the model's assumptions using the residuals diagnosis analysis. Click Cancel to close the window. The next shortcut launches the GARCH modeling form. This form can help you construct a GARCH type model by choosing the model type, model orders, P and Q, and a probability distribution for the model's innovations, also known as shocks. As in the ARMA and the airline model forms, this form can optionally initialize the model's parameters, output the model's goodness of fit functions, such as, log likelihood function, and the AIC and examines the model's underlying assumptions using the residuals diagnosis analysis. For more details, see Module 6. Click Cancel to close the window. Next shortcut from the left is Calibration. This shortcut helps you calibrate the model, that is finding optimal values for its parameters, by maximizing the log likelihood function using Excel Solver. To use this function, first, Select the model's name from the top of the table, and click the calibration shortcut. This will invoke and initialize Excel Solver with the model's values and functions. Now, to calibrate the model, you simply click on the Solve button. For more information, see Module 7. The next shortcut to the right launches NumExcel's forecasting form. Using this form, you can construct an out-of-sample forecast of the mean and the corresponding statistical confidence interval. To use this function, first, select the model's name from the top of the table, and click the forecast shortcut. Second, select the latest observations, and, for GARCH type of models, optionally select the latest realized volatility dataset. Third, enter the horizon or the number of steps to forecast for. Optionally, to include confidence intervals, Check include upper and lower limits, and specify a significance level. Finally, click on the cell where you wish the output to start. Click Cancel to close the window. The final shortcut is the About dialog box. In this dialog, you can find your NumExcel version number and your license information. You can also find a link to NumExcel's user license agreement, and a link to more information on NumExcel technical support. You can also access NumExcel's low-level functions, using Excel's Insert Function tool. To find NumExcel's functions, click the FX button on the left of the formula bar. The Insert Function dialog will pop up. 
Scroll down in the functions category. You will see five different categories of NUM Excel functions, advanced models, GARCH analysis, linear time series, statistical tests, and utilities. If NUM Excel is running in light mode, the advanced models category and numerous other functions and categories will be disabled. This concludes module 1 of our getting started series. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, concerns or feedback, please call our toll free number 1-888-427-9486 or email us at support at spiderfinancial.com. We look forward to working with you.